What's up, Internet? How you doing? It's been a while. So, I'm sitting here with my Rook 2020. I've got the Fetus. This is the Fetus and Drop Effect, or Drop Effect, Next G Hot End, currently set up. And on my Rook 2020, I'm pushing it with a Sherpa Micro. Uh, and, yeah, I'm just getting ready to crank this thing up. Uh, current settings... I'm running between 70 and 100, so I'm running from 70 up to 100 uh, millimeters cubed per second. And I'm running with a temp of 60 on the or 260 on the first layer, just to get that down. And then going to be bumping that up to 300. Uh, the printer's just getting ready to crank up to 300, so let's cross our fingers and hope that we can get to 300. It will run, and let's see just how high we can get this thing. Again, I started at 70. It's already pushing 71, going on 72 millimeters cubed per second. So let's, let's cross our fingers and see how this turns out. I'm going to, uh, yeah, let's, let's see how it's doing. And as I was getting ready to turn around to show you how it was doing, the problem is we're pushing plastic so fast that it can't get up to 300 millimeters a second. Uh, it was topping out at 275, and then it uh, crashed. So it looks like 275 is all the faster I'm going to be able to go with the ultra high flow up there. I got the ultra high flow and the 0.6 nozzle. So... Yeah, it looks like i uh maxing out the temp, trying to get up to speed, but it is, it is pushing 275. Maybe we'll restart this test. Well, let's restart the test. Let's, let's restart it and see what happens at 275 max and uh, 71, or start at 70 and go up to 100 and let's see how high we can get. All right, I got everything reset, 275 max temp. Again, this is on the, the uh, drop effect, next G hot end, with the ultra high flow adapter and the 0.6 nozzle, running on my Rook 2020. And yeah, currently I am preheating to 260. 275 will be my max temp. I hope it can hold out. And let's see if we can get higher than um, currently, let me show you where I, I cut it out on my last test, and that was at 260. So we got up to 78 here. It was a little over 78, but we'll say 78 millimeters cubed per second. Um, that was the settings at the time. I went from 60 to 90 at 260 with one millimeter steps. I am doing one millimeter steps, so let's see here. It's getting ready to start. Let's take a look, cross our fingers, and hope that it goes down well. This first part is a little boring, so forgive me while I make you wait a moment. And for you, it will be a moment. All right, here are the numbers currently. We are trying to get up to that 275. Hopefully we can stay within the magic number enough that it will continue to print. As you see, it's staying about 3 degrees cooler, 4 degrees cooler than what's being requested, and I don't remember what the cutoff is, but I think we're okay so far. And again, you can see right there, flow, we're getting up to 74 millimeters cubed per second, going up to 74, 74.4. At a print speed of 177 max now, and this is what it is currently looking like. So far, it ain't beautiful, but it is printing. The layers are holding together. We're not running into any issues yet where we're getting any gaps in the layer or as it goes to make the rotation one direction to the next. Currently we are up to 76, so 77, there's 77 now, we're getting 183 millimeters a second movement, 184, 185, so we are going up, it's ugly, 
but it is still doing it. Cross our fingers, we'll get a little bit higher, let's see if we can get at least 80. That's, that's the hope, is can we at least make it to 80 millimeters cubed per second. Again, this is a 0.6 nozzle on the ultra high flow on the drop effect. Next G extruder er, hot end running the Sherpa Micro. Just a little bit of Sherpa Micro Dragon Burner. Whoops! Got my finger close, but not close enough to do any damage. Where are we at now? 81, guys. We're up to 81, almost 82. Can we hit? Let's see what happens. 82. There's 82. Getting 195 speeds. And it looks like we may have an issue starting right there. So cross our fingers. We'll see if it goes through. Nope. Looks like that's about the cutoff. So about 82. 82 millimeters cubed. I was hoping for 90, but 82 is not bad. But there you go, guys. That's pushing the maximum speed. You can see we've got our point of failure right here. And we're starting to fail now in the back there. So, I would say it's an awesome little hot end. It's up to you to decide if it's something you want. But that being said, my usual, stay out of trouble, stay out of jail, happy 3D printing, and all the things. See you in the next one, guys. Bye.